when you go from thinking about murder to vandalism, it makes vandalism seem petty. All right, today I'm checking out Genesis. I'm listening to the song, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. Let's get into it. Okay, we need to take a pause. We're over halfway into the song. I get how this could be from a concept album. This is just different. It's just very different. It got to be almost overstimulating at one point. It was like kind of hectic, kind of chaotic. It was a lot of a lot of in your face, and then boom, the limb like down on Broadway, and then it gets all calm and peaceful and stuff. I'm trying my hardest to follow along. I wasn't scrolled to the top of the lyrics at first, and then I went and I reread all the lyrics, and I was like, dang, dang, I'm trying. I'm trying to follow along with what's going on. I can't say I'm doing the best job at that, though. This is a very creative song, even lyrically. Seems right out of place. The Broadway street scene finds the focus in its face. Somehow it's lying there, brings a stillness to the air. The man made light. At night is very bright There's no whitewash victim As the neons dim To the coat of white
What I genuinely think happened right there, what I think happened in the song, I think he killed someone, right? The lamb lies down on Broadway. The lamb got shot. The lamb got shot. He said something about putting that, wipes his gun. He's forgotten what he did. Boom. What did he forget? He forgot that he shot someone. He has already forgotten about his act of vandalism. Previously told him, oh, vandalism. He vandalized with a gun? What did he do? The previous verse refers to a spray gun right after the line. Rael Imperial Aerosol, oh, Aerosol Kid, repeat it here. This is clearly the gun this line refers to, not an actual firearm. Oh, oh, what he did is just tagging the subway. That's all you did? You just tagged the subway? That's what this whole song is about. Now we're thinking that someone got shot and killed. <laughs> it's just about vandalism. I mean, it, it is a dirtbag move to vandalize something for sure. But when you go from thinking about murder to vandalism, it makes vandalism seem petty. You know what I mean? Now this in Lamb dies, lies down on Broadway, there are various interpretations of the epi, eponymous. Wait, well, you guys told me what this word means. It means this, the song is the same name as the album, but I still don't know how to say that word. Anyway, the Lamb might be Rael himself, or it could be seen as a biblical allusion to Christ. One interpretation is that Rael himself is a sacrificial lamb. Alternatively, the Lamb could be the white seam coming. Oh, so they don't know, basically. They got a lot of different ideas, but they don't know exactly. That's why I felt listening to that song. I felt like this could be anything. I couldn't be like, yo, yeah, this means this, this means that, and logically really follow along. I was reading the lyrics once I found my place, but I was like, dang, I found my place. I'm reading the lyrics. I still, I'm just as lost as I was before I was reading the lyrics. But yeah, that's definitely a super creative song. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. 